ever feel like buying a new TV is like solving a really hard math problem? Is it too big? Is it too small? Why do my eyes hurt? And it's confusing, right? Let me simplify the TV size that you should be going for. If you've already got a TV size in mind, let's say 65, 75, 55 or 85 inch, I've got the easiest trick for you in case you are looking for the best cinematic experience on that size. And this I call it the decimal trick. Now with the decimal trick, all you need to do is the size of the TV, whatever it is in inches, put a decimal between the two numbers. So let's say you have 65, 6.5 and then instead of inches put feet now this trick works out because the math is simplified and i'll give the math of this later into the video but you can follow this in case you want a cinematic experience that is 40 degree field of view and you just want to know or estimate what is the viewing distance you should be going for so for 65 inch it should be 6.5 feet for 75 it should be 7.5 feet and 55 inch it should be 5.5 feet let's go over to the next method which is first measuring your viewing distance and then selecting the tv size accordingly so first thing that you obviously need to do is measure the distance between you and the screen, the center of the screen where it will be placed. Now over here, I'll just be going with the 4K resolution because honestly TVs nowadays don't come in 1080p or 1440 p they just come in 4K. So there's no point debating whether you should go for a lower resolution or a higher resolution. It's just 4K for pretty much all the TVs out there. So we're going with 4K. And this is a cheat sheet that will help you narrow down the TV size. So there are two basics of deciding the TV screen size. Now the first one is with a 30 degree field of view, which is for general viewing. And the second is 40 degree field of view, which is for immersion and cinematic style TV viewing. Based on the measurement that you've done, which in this chart will show you, this is 80 inches. You should go with 65 inch for a cinematic immersion and a 50 inch if you want comfortable general style viewing. And similarly, you have all the way up to 130 inches inches which is at roughly 11 feet you have 110 inches of tv size and 80 inches for general style viewing for the rest of the viewers that have stayed on for this video and now i'm going to tell you why all of this measurements and all of these things that i mentioned before in the video how this has been calculated and why it has been calculated so here we go now over here we're looking at two main organizations the first one is thx and the second one is smpte now both these organizations have a different recommendation and they serve also a different purpose thx is all about cinematic viewing smpte is about the reference standards that the entire TV industry is built on. Whether you want to go with THX or SMPTE, it's completely up to you. But both recommend different standards. THX recommends 40 degree field of view because it is more towards cinematic type of viewing. SMPTE, on the other hand, recommends 30 degree field of view, which is more towards general viewing. So the calculation, as you can see from the table, is with THX 40 degree field of view, it's 1.2 into the TV size and that is your ideal viewing distance and with smpte you have 1.6 into the tv size that is your ideal tv viewing now the decimal trick that i mentioned before it works because it's 1.2 into the tv size then divided by 12 so that gives you a measurement in feet and this is the reason why the decimal trick works because of this simple math cancellation that happens you can exactly say for thx 40 degree field of viewing cinematic style that a 65 inch is good for 6.5 feet or a 75 inch is good for 7.5 feet now beyond the math there are other things that you need to consider when you're buying your tv you have room dimensions with respect to your room dimensions you don't want your tv to look awkwardly big or awkwardly small so you need to consider that that as well ambient lighting or natural lighting which is coming in so depending on what kind of lighting is there in your space you need to decide the technology of the tv that you are going for viewing angles and seating so let's say if you are seating directly in front of the tv and you don't have a wide viewing angle then you can probably go for a va panel but on the other hand if you have a wide seating or a wide viewing angle or many people sitting watching the tv then probably you should go for an ips panel or an OLED panel. 
then you have content type content type also defines what field of view you should be going for if it's for casual viewing then you are good with smptes 30 degree field of view but if you want cinematic then thx field of view would be better suited and then finally you have personal preference it's your tv it's your decision it's your space everything is under your control these are just guidelines that i'm giving you ultimately it's your decision what you need to go for based on your specific needs so there you have it no more guessing and you can select the perfect tv size that you want according to your needs let me know in the comment section below if this has helped you